गाइस वेलकम बैक टू द चैनल सो टुडे आल्सो वी आर गोइंग टू कंटिन्यू आवर चैप्टर दैट इज लैपलास ट्रांसफॉर्म टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू सी टू इंपॉर्टेंट थ्योरम्स ऑफ लैपलास ट्रांसफॉर्म सो फर्स्ट थ्योरम इज फर्स्ट शिफ्टिंग थ्योरम सो व्हाट दिस थ्योरम स्टेट्स so first of all you know that laplace transform of f of t is nothing but phi of s means function of s so this theorem first shifting theorem states that if you have to find laplace transform of e raised to minus at f of t the formula is phi of s plus a and for laplace transform of e raised to at f of t the formula is phi of s minus a means if here is e raised to minus at then here it will become plus a and if here it is plus a here it will become minus a okay so now let's see an example to get you an idea about how to apply this theorem to solve laplace transform of the given function so the given numerical is you have to find laplace transform of e raised to 2t cos 3t so let's start with the first step in first step you have to find laplace transform of f of t here f of t is nothing but cos 3t so laplace transform of cos 3t is equal to we have direct formula for laplace transform of cos 80 that is s upon s square plus a square so let's apply the formula here a is 3 so according to this formula laplace transform of cos 3t is equal to s upon s square plus a square a is 3 so it will become 3 square a 9 so this is nothing but phi of s now see the given example here they have asked you to find out laplace transform of e raised to 2t cos 3t now compare this given function with these two formulas so here it is plus 2t so you have to compare with this second formula here it is e raised to a t here e raised to 2 t that means a is nothing but 2 here so now let's apply the formula according to the formula the laplace transform of given function is nothing but phi of s minus a okay so see we have phi of s so to find out phi of s minus a just replace this s with s minus a here a is 2 so just replace this s with s minus 2 so laplace transform of this function will become s so we have to put s minus a that is s minus 2 upon s square will become s minus 2 square plus 9 now just simplify so here a minus b the whole square so a square minus 2ab plus b square and here it is plus 9 so the final answer will become s minus 2 s square minus 4 s and 4 plus 9 is 13 so this is the step by step procedure to apply the first shifting theorem to find out laplace transform of the given function now let's move to the next example so the next example is you have to find Laplace transform of e raised to minus 3t sin square t. So 
like previous numerical let's assume the sin square t v f of t so in first step you have to find laplace transform of f of t that is laplace transform of sin square t we don't have any direct formula of laplace transform of sin square t so use trigonometric formula for sin square t that is is equal to half into 1 minus cos 2t so you have to find laplace transform of so this sin square t will become 1 by 2 1 minus cos 2t that is you have to find let's take this half outside the bracket and it will become laplace transform of 1 minus laplace transform of cos 2t now we know that laplace transform of 1 is nothing but 1 upon s and for finding out laplace transform of cos 2t let's use the formula for laplace transform of cos 80 here a is 2 so according to the formula we will write laplace transform of cos 2t is equal to s upon a square plus a square so a square plus a square will become 2 square that is 4 so this is the first step that is laplace transform of f of t and this is nothing but phi of s so this is nothing but phi of s now let's compare the given numerical with one of these formulas here it is minus 3 so you have to compare with the first formula so here it is minus 80 that means a is nothing but 3 here okay so let's apply according to the first shifting theorem of laplace transform of the given function is phi of s plus a here A is three, so you have to just replace this S with S plus three. So let's apply the formula. So Laplace transform of e raised to minus three t sine square t will become one by two. We will write as it is. Now replace this S with S plus a that is S plus three, so one upon S will become one upon S plus three. This S in the numerator we will write S plus three upon this S square will become S plus three the whole square plus four. Step will be just simplify. One upon s plus three minus s plus three upon. Let's apply the formula for a plus b the whole square. That is, a square plus two ab plus b square. And here it is plus four. So the final answer is one by two one upon s plus three. Minus s plus three upon s square plus six s plus nine plus four that is plus thirteen. So this is the step by step procedure to find out the Laplace transform of this given function. so i hope you understood how to apply the first shifting theorem formulas to find out laplace transform of the given function now let's move to the next theorem of laplace transform that is second shifting theorem so the statement of second shifting theorem is if laplace transform of f of t is equal to phi of s and there is an another function of t that is g of t which is equal to f of t minus 7t greater than a And this g of t is zero when t less than a. 
then laplace transform of this g of t that is laplace transform of f of t minus a is equal to e raised to minus a s phi of s so let's take an example to get you an idea about how to apply the theorem so the given example is if f of t is equal to t minus 2 the whole cube when t greater than 2 it is f of t is equal to 0 when t less than 2 you have to find laplace transform of f of t so let's start with the first step before that let's compare the two conditions with the two conditions of the theorem so here it is given that f of t minus a here it is t minus 2 so if you compare you will get to know that a is nothing but 2 here so the conditions are satisfied with the conditions of theorem so let's apply the formula in the formula you can see that first of all you have to find phi of s so phi of s is nothing but laplace transform of f of t but you have to neglect this minus 2 for the first step so what will be the remaining part t cube so phi of s is nothing but laplace transform of t cube we have the direct formula for laplace transform of t raised to n that is n factorial upon s raised to n plus 1 here n is 3 so according to this formula laplace transform of t cube is equal to n factorials means 3 factorial upon s raised to n plus 1 so 3 plus 1 will be 4 so this is your first step in first step what we have done we have to just neglect this minus a part that is minus 2 part and the remaining part will be t cube so we have to just take laplace transform of that t cube then you will get phi of s now the last step that is laplace transform of the given function which is g of t that is f of t minus a here it is laplace transform of t minus 2 the whole q is equal to according to the first shifting theorem e raised to minus a s so e raised to what is minus a here a is 2 so e raised to minus a s will become e raised to minus 2 s into phi of s that is our first step so we will write 3 factorial upon s raised to 4 this is your final answer of the laplace transform of the given function so that's all for today i hope you understood the two theorems of laplace transform that is first shifting theorem and second shifting theorem so let's continue this chapter that is laplace transform in the next video thank you very much for watching